Hi, this is Miles Marie, the Soldier Mary. I'm continuing my exploration of the question as to whether Saint Jose Maria was present in Garabandao during the days of the apparitions. I have two videos on this subject in which I present some testimonies saying that Jose Maria was present during the days of the apparitions. The first video is from a nun who was reliably informed that Saint Jose Maria was present there, both uh, informed by both Mary Cruz, one of the visionaries, also by a priest of Opus Dei, and then secondarily another video in which I talk about the interview conducted with the uh, one of the other visionaries, uh, Jacinta, in which she says she understands that Saint Jose Maria was present there. She doesn't remember it herself, but you know, she understands he was there. And the guy that's interviewing her confirms that he was told that by a member of Opus Dei, a priest of Opus Dei, that yes, Jose Maria was present in Garabandao. And they also both identify the summer and the location that Jose Maria was staying in during his holidays that enabled him to visit Garabandao. I want to now look at the official response of Opus Dei to this question, because you may not have realized it, but Opus Dei are interested in this question so much so that they have given an official response to these allegations. And so we read, Saint Jose Maria and Garabandao. In a certain site on the internet, we find claimed that Saint Jose Maria was in Garabandao in Cantabria in 1962, where in the 60s took place some alleged apparitions of the Virgin. Through opusday.org, we have received questions about this particular subject, and therefore we have made the appropriate checks in the chronologies of that summer and of the years of 1961 and 1963, and we are able to confirm that this trip did not happen. Moreover, there are the witnesses of the testimonies of the persons that accompanied him in those summers who confirm this chronology. We think that they have confused Saint Jose Maria with some other priest. So that's uh, Opus Dei's uh, response. It's on the Spanish website. I don't think it's present on the English website, just the Spanish one, because I suppose it's a subject that's more uh, important, more interesting in Spain, where most of the members, a large number of the members of Opus Dei are, and where Garabandal is. So what should we think of this? Should we just take this at face value, this response, end of story? The other testimonies are incorrect. I don't know. I don't know. Part of me thinks that when it comes to St. Jose Maria Escriva, Opus Dei, Opus Dei have shown a history of wanting to preserve a particular image of the saint. Perhaps that's natural. It has happened with other saints where an order has preserved a particular image of a saint and they have done their best to hide certain other details that don't correspond with that uh, narrative. You know, that's hagiography. That's that's what happens with, with saints. Certain good features get um, get extenuated. What's the word? They get exaggerated. And certain bad features, maybe they, they don't get mentioned so much. Or maybe they're turned into good features. So with St. Jose and Maria, there's a number of things that have kind of been downplayed, it seems to me. And one of them surely is any association with things that are not approved, that are not mainstream in the church today. And given the fact that Garabandal is, as they put here, a supposed apparition, a presumed apparition, they don't really, Opus Dei doesn't really want to associate their founder with some apparitions that have been condemned by the local bishop as uh, after two commissions. So Opus Dei doesn't really want to align themselves with such an apparition. Just in the same way that Opus Dei has done its hardest to remain completely aligned with Pope Francis, it's done its best not to get drawn into some moron pontificum and the old right, even though 
I don't know if this is a rumor, but I've certainly heard that St. Jose Maria uh, never said the new mass, but I, I can't confirm that either way, but I've certainly heard uh, it being said to me that St. Jose Maria was not in favor of the new mass. And yet Opus Dei certainly maintains, maintains a party line of offering the, the new mass. Um, other things, political things, you know, Opus Dei has done its best to present a certain or certain political image of Jose Maria as apolitical. Also in the area of church state, uh, Jose Maria is presented as a great bastion of religious liberty. Um, and certain, you know, certain features. And I guess part of that is not being associated to anything too weird or wacky. Although St. Jose Maria in his spirituality certainly had this very weird habit of whipping himself uh, in, into blood, uh, a feature that, that really doesn't feature in many saints. Um, and certainly one that, that really I can't think of any spiritual director who would ever uh, be in favour of their directee uh, going into the corner of the room with just a sheet to separate you from everybody else and then bludgeoning yourself continually um, with a whip till blood was covering the walls which is how uh the the official biographies of saint jose maria present him but i guess that's probably not mentioned too much in the talks probably not mentioned too much on on the front page of the website um and probably not mentioned too much in the professional apostolate of opus dei numeries and supernumeries certainly there is a connection to uh, Opus Dei and Garabandao. There's a connection between the two, in as much as Saint Jose Maria, not Saint Jose Maria, Saint Jose Luis Saavedra, the author of the Garabandao Message of Hope, he completed his doctorate at the University of Navarre, the Opus Dei University in Pamplona, and so you know they were willing to take up his doctoral um, studies there to allow him to do his thesis there on the historicity of, of Garabandao. There's some connection, um, but when I spent a bit of time in Pamplona myself and stayed with some Opus Dei priests there, they, um, they didn't really want to talk about Garabandao very much, and it wasn't really an acceptable conversation topic at the dinner table. And that's the same when I've been to other Opus Dei centers. Um, the topics of conversation are not generally allowed to be along the lines of apparitions or anything that would be seen as esoteric or unnormal, you know. So anyway, that's some thoughts. Maybe it's true. Maybe St. Jose Maria never went there. Maybe the so-called testimonies have, have confused St. Jose Maria with another priest. It's entirely plausible, but maybe there's more to it because of the history of uh, the the presentation of, of St. Jose Maria by Opus Dei. May Almighty God bless you. May Our Lady intercede for you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.